Hi there, I'm Cody and I've been making boba on TikTok for many, many months now. And one question I've gotten a lot is what do I do if my boba turns into ooh black? Does yours look like this? That means you probably made a common mistake. I'm gonna show exactly where that mistake is and how to fix it. I'm gonna use the stove top recipe, but if you're using a microwave recipe, you still messed up at the same exact step. It's the same process. So let's just dive right in. All right, so we're gonna start off with the boba recipe. I'll have the full recipe posted on our Instagram page, which you can find down below in our description. First, I'm gonna start off by adding sugar and water. Most bowl recipes start out the exact same way, so your recipe probably followed this step. You're gonna mix until the sugar is completely dissolved, meaning you cannot see the sugar granules anymore. We're gonna do this on low heat. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, most boba recipes next are gonna tell you to add some of your tapioca starch, not all of it, just a small portion of it, and mix it off the heat. So I'm just gonna lift it up and mix this in. Typically you're supposed to stir it and keep stirring it, raise the heat a little bit, but I'm gonna do this intentionally wrong. So they might say to add the rest of your tapioca starch next and mix. Some recipes will even tell you to keep adding until you get a dough that forms. All right, so let's talk about what happened. If you look at this dough, it just rips, basically oobleck. So what did I do wrong? Let's take a look at how to correctly do it. When you add in that first bit of tapioca starch, this is the most crucial step in making the boba. You need to let the tapioca gelatinize, which means you need to keep stirring your mix until the whole mixture becomes a sticky blob, almost. That's the best way I can describe it. But that's when your tapioca gelatinizes and it'll prevent the rest of your dough from becoming oobleck. Here's my one sticky blob. Now I'm good to turn off the heat and add in the rest of my tapioca starch. And you're gonna fold in the tapioca starch until the dough can't hold anymore. All right, now I'm gonna pour this out onto a work surface. Let's sprinkle it with some tapioca starch first. All right, so this is what we should have. We wanna knead it until it's nice and smooth, so no lumps, no dry areas. As I'm kneading it, I'm starting to notice it's, it's sticking to me a little bit. So that means you might need a little bit more tapioca starch. We'll continue to knead it until it's nice and smooth and it really shouldn't be very sticky anymore. If you can knead it and stretch it and pull it, that's a good sign that you've done your boba dough correctly. Compare that to our oobleck dough from earlier. If I try to fold it over on itself and knead it, it just breaks, it crumbles, or it just melts away in your hand. So this is a good indicator that we did it correctly this time, unlike the oobleck dough. All right, so our dough looks pretty soft and nice. It's very smooth. It doesn't really stick to me that much anymore. So I think this is ready to shape into little balls. One thing you do have to know is that boba dough will dry out. So if you feel like you're gonna take a very long time, you might wanna wrap it in saran wrap. But I think we get this done quickly. We're gonna roll it into boba logs. So I kind of sectioned it off in three pieces, and now I'm just gonna roll it out. We wanna make it thin enough, so again, that the boba will fit into the boba straw. Make all of your logs about the same thickness. Now I made a very small batch, really a single serving batch. So if you made a recipe that is enough for two or more people, you're probably gonna have much more dough than I have. Now I'm gonna start chopping up into bits, little boba sized bits. It's okay if they're not all the same size. We're not perfectionists here. Let me just chop these up. All right, so now we've got our little boba, I guess, pillows. They kind of look like little pillows. Just take each one and roll it up. All right, once we have them rolled, we're gonna to wanna to put them in some tapioca starch so they don't stick to each other. Let's finish the rest of these. Now, to be honest, if you're feeling really lazy, you don't actually have to roll these. Um, as long as they're small enough to fit in the straw, then you're golden. Now, I only had light brown sugar on hand, hence why my color is so light brown. If you want the classic darker look, you can use a darker brown sugar. If you want it black, you can even add black food coloring or use black sugar. When you're done shaping your tapioca balls, now you need to shake off the excess starch. You wanna bring your water to a rolling boil. You do want a lot of water so the boba has plenty of room to float around. Once it's at a rolling boil, you're gonna dump in your boba and stir it until all the boba pearls are floating. Now that they're all floating, we're gonna cover and cook on low heat for about 20 minutes. After the first 20 minutes of cooking, remove it from the heat, do not open the pot, and let it sit for another 20 minutes. Once that's done, you're gonna drain the boba in the sink and rinse it in cold water or dunk it in ice water. This is crucial for a nice chewy texture. Now you can cook it in some brown sugar syrup 
But today I'm gonna go ultimate lazy and just mix it in with some honey. Now I'm gonna make the ultimate lazy person's milk tea. This is not at all authentic or perfect in any way. It's still pretty good. In the description below, I'm gonna link you to some other creators who have made very authentic and delicious milk tea. So you can have those recipes available as well if that's what you're more interested in. Check them out. What I have right here is the Taza London Fog Latte Mix Black Tea Concentrate. This is what I'm gonna use for my black tea instead of brewing my own. And your milk of choice. I prefer oat milk, but that is ultimately up to you. I also have in front of me my boba cup and my boba straw. If you don't have a boba straw, you can try to buy like milkshake straws. But if you drink boba a lot, seriously consider getting a reusable boba straw. They sell them on Amazon. You can get them pretty cheap. If you don't like Amazon, there are creators out there who make their own if you want to support those smaller businesses instead. Check your local boba shop. You never know. They might sell reusable boba straws too. All right, so let's dive right in. How do I make my ultimate lazy milk tea? Well, um, for the boba itself, I was lazy and just used honey, so um, I'm just gonna put a little honey around the glass just to kind of make it look nice. This stuff is entirely optional. <laughs> it just looks nice and gives it a little extra sweetness from the honey. Now we have our boba, so I'm gonna dump that into our cup. Now I do like ice. Boom, there we go. We've got our ice in our cup here. Time to make the laziest milk tea ever. This you can find really any grocery store here in the United States and it can make a lot of milk tea so you can really stretch it out. I use oat milk just because that's my favorite milk. If you want to use regular milk or almond milk or whatever, feel free to use that as well. I usually do about half and half. You can proportion it out however you would like. I'm actually going to start with the tea. So let's do the tea first. Pour that in. That might be too much tea. That's okay. I think it's still gonna taste great. Okay, now for the oat milk. There we go. I mean, it was the right amount of tea, actually. Take your straw and just mix it up. Now, the boba recipe I used was only for a single serving. So that's how much boba we've gotten out of this recipe. If you want to make it for more people, just double it, triple it, quadruple it, however many people you need it for, how many cups you want to make. Or if you just want extra boba for yourself. It's totally fine too. Let's see how it tastes. Perfect lazy way to make boba. All right, I really hope that this recipe helped you solve your boba problems. If you have any other issues when making your boba, please comment down below and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you. Have a great day. Bye. I forgot the most important thing. <laughs> I forgot the boba. <laughs> Like, why is this missing something? Looks like it's missing something. It's missing the freaking boba. Oh my god, I'm so mad at myself.